Well, glad to have you with us on this Saturday noonday prayer meeting time, and uh, we're going to pray specifically for some things we did yesterday. We got some folk in our church, but pray for the services tomorrow. We want to take this this time on this uh, Saturday to really ask God to bless the Lord's Day services tomorrow, that there will be people come out to the house of God and uh, be encouraged and challenged and uplifted and be saved and discipled. And so let's pray to that end. Father, we come before you today. And dear Lord, we come before you again today with very, very thankful hearts. We're thankful for your goodness and your mercy to us. Lord, I'm thankful for how you've blessed our church. You've raised us up here in a body of believers of like mind and like faith. And Lord, we pray specifically for the services on the Lord's day tomorrow. I would ask that you'd be, uh, as folk begin to even gather here early tomorrow morning, that there could just be a sweet spirit of fellowship and the power of the Lord could be recognized. I pray as our vans go out and begin to pick up folk and bring them back into the house of God, that you'd give them, uh, Lord, not only safety as they travel, but give them uh, souls to bring in that could be uh, helped and uplifted. And Lord, we just want to commit these things into thy hands. I pray you'd be of the Sunday school hour. And you'd bless uh, Brother Ted and those teachers and give them give us unction from on high as we preach and teach the Word of God. And may it find a lodging place in the hearts and lives of people and accomplish the purpose you'd have it to accomplish. And so, Lord, we pray for the Sunday school hour. I pray you'd be with our morning service time, be with our children's churches. I pray you'd be with the what goes on with the children's church itself and bless uh, Brother Colt and those folk helping him and and then, Lord, I pray for the other part of the building. We've got our younger kids up there from the nursery and, and Lord, the toddlers up through the, uh, uh, the first grade. And I pray you'd be with them and bless all that goes on here that it might glorify Jesus. Not that it would glorify us, but that it would uplift and glorify Christ. May there be salvations and may there be folk uh, helped. And I pray for the morning service. Lord, that you will bless Brother Larry and our choir and our singing and our fellowship together. And Lord, use the message to accomplish the purpose in each one of our lives that would draw us closer to Christ. And so we pray for tomorrow. Pray that you just be with it mightily and bless it as only a mighty God can as we commit it into thy hands. Father, we pray for our missionaries. We've prayed earnestly and are praying earnestly for what's going on, Brother Mayor and Brother Aniel in the Ukraine. We pray for those dear folk again today that you would just uh, uh, strengthen them and help them. There's so much death and destruction and devastation that's been brought upon them by a wicked enemy. And I pray you'd work in their behalf and help them, Father. Strengthen them. Give other nations the courage to do what needs to be done to help these people that are seemingly defenseless. And I pray you'd help us in that. Lord, I pray you just be with the missionaries, that they could be able to render some aid, and not only render some aid, that they might be able to, uh, uh, Lord, see people saved and one to Christ. And, and uh, Lord, the need of all the world and every person is to be saved, and I pray you would help them to be able to win some of these folk to Christ. Uh, even, even the Russians, Lord, they need Christ, and I pray you would bless in this. And so we commit that to you. Pray for other missionaries today. I know there are other missionaries around the world, and they are uh, trying to serve you, and I pray you just be with them and help them. And then, Father, we've, uh, we, we have a number of folk that we've prayed for for a while. I pray that you would just uh, continue to uh, be with them and touch their bodies. I pray Brother Raymond Webb, you just lift him up. Sister Willie Long, and lift her up, Lord. And Sister Kay Selby and Brother Paul, and help them to continue to be strengthened, to be able to come back to the house of the Lord. And I pray Brother Larry and Miss Rita Chambers, and you'd strengthen both of them. Touch Miss Rita as she's taken a fall, and help her, Lord. And I pray for Brother uh, Charles and Miss June Wetzel, that you'll lift them up and strengthen them. And uh, Lord, strengthen her bodies. Pray for my mother, that you'd just lift her up and strengthen her as well. And Lord, we, uh, we commit these folk to you, asking that you'd help them. Uh, Lord, they might recover. I pray for Sister Diana Maynard, and you lift up Sister Diana and Sister Rita Sherrill. You lift up Sister Rita and touch her body, and uh, uh, Lord, strengthen her. I pray for uh, Brother Jeff Turner and uh, Brother Ted Woody, both these men with blood clots, and pray you just continue to help them to heal well and to be able to go forward. And uh, Lord, we, we, uh, we do commit them into thy hands, asking you would help them. And Lord, we have... Uh, Lord, no doubt, some other folk uh, that are uh, beds of illness that we pray for, that you'd just strengthen them. I do pray, Brother Fred Ward and Miss Rita, that you'd touch their bodies and lift them up. And 
Lord, I pray that you be with Don and Judy Bookman in the home going of their daughter and just strengthen them, Lord. And then we, we ask uh, once again that you would uh, be with and, and uh, bless uh, Sister Nancy Brown. Uh, she's had some heart issues. Uh, strengthen her and lift her up. Pray for Susan Lister that you'd touch Miss Susan. I pray you would be with uh, Lord uh, Sister uh, Betty Davis and give wisdom with this. And pray for Ike Warner that's in the hospital and also uh, for uh, John Garland. And you'd be with them and lift them up and be with their families. And so, God, we uh, commit these things in thy hands today. We uh, thank you certainly for hearing us. And, uh, Lord, for being good to our church, and I pray you would just help us to be a lighthouse in this community and around the world. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy and how you have blessed us mightily. For it is in Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen.